are talking about the movie Dragon Mountain, which is also known as the Dwarves of Demrel, and also known as the Dwarves of Dragon Mountain. Now this movie comes to us from High Flyers Entertainment on the 14th of May 2018, at least in the UK. Uh, and this one is directed by Chris Ranney. Now this was originally a crowdfunded movie, and I'm getting it's a relatively kind of low budget, and that will become part on, of the review as to why I think that. Uh, but let's talk about the actual film itself. I would say this film can be a companion piece to the Middle Earth movies. Very much in the way if you've seen the film Orc Wars. Not an official Lord of the Rings or Middle Earth movie, but it takes aesthetics from those films and it applies it to an independent picture. And this one I say is very similar to that. The dwarves here are straight out of the Middle Earth movies. And uh, very much has a similar looking aesthetic and feel to it. Although I was a little bit perplexed uh, as to the, the kind of the, the actual mythology here, because we do have uh, use of machinery and light bulbs and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if this is meant to be a kind of medieval fantasy or a contemporary fantasy. It doesn't really doesn't really say. I was a little bit, but the people are using axes and things. I don't know. Um, but there you go. Maybe a steampunk, which is I guess it can be anything you want. Now the story here focuses on a group of dwarves as they are trapped in this particular mine after a cave-in and it's their attempts to survive and escape ultimately with dwindling food and resources and not only that they doesn't they, they appear to be not alone within this mountain there appears to be some kind of uh, creature perhaps and there may be even a human element and we learn at the beginning of the movie there's animosity between the human and dwarf uh, species so let's talk about what works and what doesn't work with dragon mountain We'll go with the negatives first of all, because I feel um, I really do have to talk about that first and foremost. The main issue with this film for me, I feel may stem from the budget, because there's clearly a lot of budget restraints in this film, but also the writing. I've got to say, I feel this movie is somewhat poorly written, and I'll explain why. Now, I don't like to normally rewrite films in a review, but here's the problem. I feel the filmmakers have kind of brushed past this because they know this world, they, kind of, they know what they're trying to create, but they're not looking at it from an outsider's point of view. The film literally starts with after the kind of the cave in, and we kind of, our characters are already trapped within this kind of mountain. Now, because of the choice of aesthetics, uh, it, obviously being a cave in, it's all quite dark. All the dwarves look quite similar big beards, helmets, we don't know who's who. But also, there's no characterization before that. I feel what have benefited from this movie if they had 10 to 15 minutes before the cave in, ideally outside of the caves. So you can get to know the characters and you can actually kind of familiarize yourself with them before this kind of disaster happened. Because it stands at the moment, the, the first thing that happens in the movie is this kind of this cave in, and then we then we kind of just thrown into it. There's no characterization before this point. Uh, I don't know why this was a choice. Um, you know, it's it's because we just don't know who what we're looking at. All we see is a, some bearded men with helmets talking to the other bearded men with helmets, not knowing who's who and the relevance of the conversation between them. If there's two groups, one group, we don't know. And clearly, the filmmakers know this, but it is not translated to those of you who are going into this cold. Uh, so that is the first thing. So, and um, because of that. When you watch this movie, you will start to just, you don't know what, what characters are going to be which. So you're kind of losing that initial kind of, uh, uh, the, the first kind of like half an hour or so. Because you don't really know what the relevance of the conversations. Because you don't know who's talking to who, or, you know, or the relations between them, or where the characters are. It's not established. This, the beginning of this movie is not established. The other thing I would say is this film drags on for too long in places. Now, if you wanted to keep it at the same running time, you would cut this movie down and you would have had, like I've said, this maybe 15 minute beginning portion to give us these, these kind of like these uh, character moments to make us care about the characters. Because at the moment, we don't. We do not care, we do not empathize with these, with these characters because we don't know them. Now, when we get to the kind of, I would say, the last act, at that point in the movie, you'll, you'll start to kind of like, you know, recognize people and kind of getting to know them. But maybe it's too late at that point. And um, the film loves to spend way too much time on, on particular scenes, 
I mean, there's honestly, there's one scene where they're eating these eggs, and it seems to go on for 20 minutes. We don't, we don't need that. We just don't need that amount of time and these kind of long conversations about nothing relevant to the plot, just kind of, um, you know, uh, these kind of uh, the wolves lamenting. But at that point, you're thinking it's a little bit too late, and you kind of this just tempting to build up some characters, some ta characterization. At this point in the film, when it should have been done at the beginning, doesn't work because at that point you you're starting to switch off. And uh, ultimately, does this film even need to be the wolves or a fantasy type of creature? I would say it doesn't because there's no real kind of uh, relevance to them being dwarves, essentially. It ultimately, it could be anyone uh, trapped in a, a cave-in, ultimately. I mean, we had a very similar movie, The Descent, which was, th you know, a bunch of women who were just trapped in, in a cave-in and there were some creatures in there. That was a great film. It didn't have to be a fantasy setting. But the, but the fantasy setting doesn't really add anything. There's no real, uh, there's no real payoff to it. We told a lot of exposition about the kind of the world and the mythology uh, and the kind of the animosity between the dwarves and the humans, but we don't really ever see it. We only get told about it in lines of exposition. There is one human character, but again, just not fleshed out um, at all. I mean, you just simply don't care. We also see one shot of a dragon right at the beginning of the movie that absolutely has no relevance to the plot whatsoever and is never seen again. So, it's a real problematic movie, it doesn't end there unfortunately, because the ending of this film is weak. Uh, it just kind of peters off and there's no real kind of payoff. With these type of films, I feel it should build to something and this film doesn't. I suppose it maybe is it tends to be somewhat poetic, but as a kind of, if you're watching this as a fantasy fan, as a kind of action movie fan, it just kind of peters out and ultimately becomes a what? This is, this is finished? It just seems to just kind of go boop, 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 and that's it. That's the end of the movie. But what does work? Let's talk about the good stuff because I feel like I've ragged on this film quite a lot. I ragged on it because I feel I'm disappointed. I saw the trailer of this film probably all well, months ago and I suspected this film might end up being like this and I was right. Um, but there is some good things to say. First of all here, I feel this film is very well shot. It's actually quite a, an attractively shot film. What do I mean by that? Just the kind of the uh, the artistic shots of the kind of the, the, the use of light against the kind of the, the caves and, you know, there are some pretty uh, fantastic uh, looking shots here, despite the fact it's all very claustrophobic uh, and these guys in these kind of like misty kind of caves look pretty damn awesome right out of kind of Lord of the Rings. I've got to say as well, I thought the costume design and the kind of the, uh, the, kind of the weapons and the helmets all looked very good, all very authentic to that of Middle Earth. I feel it's obviously, although it's clearly obviously it's, its own thing, it definitely has been designed with the kind of the, the Lord of the Rings, the Middle Earth kind of world in mind. And you can kind of feel like Orc Wars, it almost takes place within that kind of universe. It's this kind of little side story that no one has, has ever talked about before. I've got to say, also the acting by the guys, by the, 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 the cast here, were also pretty good. Um, I feel the cats aren't well written and and, uh, and a little bit uneven, but their acting, their line delivery, their expressions, their physical acting, I thought were all quite good. I also think this movie uh, does point to a much kind of like more interesting uh, world building. And when we, we learn a little bit from this kind of like exposition dump at the beginning of the film about the conflict between the <clears throat> dwarves and the humans and stuff like that, we see hints of kind of other races as well. It's just not built upon, um, but it, it, it points to a kind of a, a more interesting world, maybe. Uh, but obviously, and again, that's just, I think, obviously, mainly because of the budget restraints here. Um, ultimately, I've got to say, could I recommend this movie? If you are a massive Lord of the Rings fan, or just a massive fantasy fan, or Dungeons and Dragons fan, you may get a lot from this movie, and the fact that I feel it does definitely cater to that crowd and does try and maybe um, be a kind of a serious fantasy movie for fans of those of those particular genres, maybe steampunk as well. However, I, I would say if you are a casual movie fan, if you're a casual fan of the Lord of the Rings films, you'll find this movie quite boring ultimately because that's what it is. There's you don't care about the characters, and when we kind of do get to know them. 
It's very samey. It's looking at the same. Every hundred percent of this movie is shot in this in this kind of these caverns. It looks very similar, despite the fact that there's some good camera work. All the characters look very similar. They're not well developed, and uh, the story doesn't really go anywhere. It's just a, it's just a, a quite a, a slight plot. So um, I say it does have some good efforts and it has some good elements, but it is it actually a satisfying movie. No, it is not. I will give this movie a five out of ten, though, purely because I feel that there is some artistic talent on display here, and the performances and the kind of the, uh, the design aesthetics are very good. So five out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.